Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. Just a little couple Etsy shares and some craft with me today. We're having a nice snowstorm, so I am home. This was a little happy mail that came from Ellen from Glitter Glitter Guts at Etsy.com. She has um, a lot of ephemera. So that's her name. And she wanted to share some with me. And I told her I would share. She made a nice cute little card. And she has mixed media. She had this all nice wrapped up with this pretty piece of lace. And she had all kinds of goodies. So we're just going to, from the 40s. Now what I would do with some of these is I would... 42. How cool. At that one, I wouldn't. But something like this that doesn't have a back, I would sew coffee um, dyed paper and use it as a journaling card. And then you would have your whole front. Or I can would make a hinge. So you still have your original receipt. How cool, Ellen. And all the writing from somebody. Make sure my video is going. It stopped on me a little while ago. Hardware. A lot of this is from Toledo, Ohio. That's a railroad. Express. The old adding machine. <laughs> well, thank you very much for thinking of me and sharing this. So if you guys need ephemera, check her out. Oh, oil stoves. <laughs> $75. Yep, these are make nice journaling cards sewn on the back with my new sewing machine. Freight bill. Ooh, that one's cool. The building. Oh my goodness. Look at the... Boy, you have quite a collection. I'm not sure if she sells them in bundles. But it's... Like I said, it's, uh, I'll show you the name again. Oh, a little letter. 1941. I wish you guys could feel the paper. The paper is, everything is so different. Oh, look at that perforate. Ooh. There's my husband following. That's really cool to make some kind of a flip book or something. Hmm. Yep. Oh, wow. Look at these. Oh, wow. These are really, really nice. And these I might have to hoard for a little while. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Look at them. Aluminum tea kettles. Dollar three. Or is that the tax? Huh? How cool. Oh, that might be wholesale. Wholesale retail. Oh, my God. How cool. Thank you so much. These are really, really awesome. So again, it's glitter. I hope I'm saying that right. Glitter gut. G U. What's the name? Glitter G U T Z. And Etsy. So thank you so much, Ellen. And I will put these to good use and share it. Oh, and came with a Tom Thumb and how she cut it out. Well, thank you very much, E-Bomb Creations. So that would be fun to play with. Then I got another different kind of email. Or, um, this came from Shima. From, it came in my Crafty Me package. And she sent me all this beautiful. Look at that. It would make a beautiful, um, I, I have to cut it. Beautiful, what am I trying to say? Tropical. That is beautiful. Shima, I can't thank you enough. That was a very big surprise that came in my package. Doilies. And we know I can put them to good use. This is really pretty. Look at that. Tablecloth. So you guys that don't have snow, you can hear the joy of the plow <laughs> in my, oh, these are napkins. Oh, how cool. 
Hmm. See, something now, some of these I took and made the whole cover. This would probably be a nice cover for a um, TN style. And look at these. We have beautiful doilies. Shima, thank you so much. This was just such a surprise. And then this pretty, pretty. That's really pretty. The pink with the gold, silver, glitter. It's a big piece. Piece of seam binding. And this came from Crafty Me Shop. <laughs> and a piece. This would be good for my... <laughs> 30 and 3 challenge, if, um, and I will keep it for that. What do you do with the embroidery pieces? That I still haven't done the video yet because I'm still thinking. Ooh, this is pretty. Like a linen. Seema, thank you so, so much. That's a really pretty color. I don't know if it was tea dyed, but it's gorgeous. And that, and then this, I might have to put it somewhere. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's, a, it's got a sheen to it, and it's a big piece of crocheted doily tablecloth centerpiece type thing. It is beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, that's my happy mail for today. And what else did I find? Oh, I found these in... When I was cleaning, I thought these are funny. These are at home, and they're called indecision pencils. I can get them open. And they were so funny. I must have bought them because I really liked them. They had the colors was save and splurge, water or wine, inhale or exhale. I'm keeping these right at my desk. Real or fake. Jim nap so jim will never get used <laughs> this is my favorite kale or cake <laughs> so those are just a cute little pencil thing i got them at home probably a couple years ago when they first opened up all right so what else i'm making yesterday when i was um babysitting my granddaughter she was taking a nap so i don't go far away she, even though she was sleeping on papa so i decided to make some of these again um, I think at first I seen them, oh God, a while ago from, um, Jen, Jennifer, I know a lot of people made these, but I was just making these, um, CD covers and I was putting them in different things and I just wa <clears throat> wanted to show you, um, in case you missed that video, I just made a template. I went into my husband's office, grabbed a CD cover. Or you go online and just put CD covers template in there. And I just made some covers. And then I coffee dyed them so they're all kind of wrinkly and crinkly. And I used the little circle cut out. Where did I put it? It was these things I bought on a whim. Because I hate cutting circles out. It's EK Tools. They don't work the greatest because there's that little blade there and it's all jaggedy, but I like the look. And then um, all I did is, uh, I could, like I said, I sat there while she was sleeping and cut a whole bunch out. So I have them because I really liked them in my last project. And then I had sheets of this clear stuff that my daughter-in-law gave me, acetate. And I thought I cut one out. Does that fit? No, that don't fit. Right, I'm going to have to cut another one out. Yeah, I just measure it. And just put it there. Take the white off. And these are... This, these were actually made with all scraps. And then I went in the attic or in my basement and I found this sook wing, sook wing tape. I know I bought it from Amazon at least. Oh my God. When I first started the scrapbooking craze and that was at least six years ago <clears throat> for me anyway. So 
I'm just gonna take that. Let me see what my time is. <clears throat> and this is just another quick because I really like the look of the looks of these in um, my lace journals. And I'll be mailing everything out probably tomorrow. <clears throat> And then I just see a cut it a little shy, but that's all right. And then I just fold them up. Now they may be cheaper to buy, but it was just something. It's like again, it's therapy for me. I like making it. They, they're not perfect looking. And then up this one really isn't perfect looking that's okay hold it up put a little glue on it in there and I'm just gonna fold this down and I am not worried. I mean, I'm going to decorate these and come back. I'm not worried about these being perfect. So relax. Enjoy. Have fun. Because once you get all our little doodads on it, it's going to look just fine. Unless you're doing a specific project where everything needs to be, you know, Perfect, then you wouldn't be watching me anyway. <laughs> but, and then, so I just covered up where I made a mistake. And then I will, oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's whip something up here. My go to flowers. I'll put a nice big one because I made. Oh, I got a piece of chiffon right here. Okay, perfect. See? There, there. Put a little more. This is a little different, but it doesn't matter. It's still white. Boy, I do have to get new scissors. <clears throat> then we will put a little bow and that is it put it down there and then I will probably let's see if I have something I do <clears throat> A little vintage. And let's see what else I can grab. We'll do a little distress ink or uh, antique linen. There. Perfect. Well, let's do the back. A lot of times the letters help if things aren't crooked. <laughs> the random stamping. Okay. And that is it. So I will be back because I am working on a file folder. This is a peak, Miss B or Miss M. I know you're waiting. And it's a file folder with the dial closed. So there's a peak that I'm going to work at it a little more on video so i will be back with that so we will see you soon bye